at the end of the day, the goal of every essay that you're writing for your application, whether it's your primary personal statement, your primary MD-PhD essay, your secondary essays, every word that you write, every sentence that you write, every paragraph that you write, the goal of those is to get the reader to continue reading. Ask Dr. Gray pre-med Q&A. Thank you so much for joining me today. Good morning. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, wherever you're listening, whenever, I suppose. What can I do for you? What can I answer for you today? So my question is for the MD specific, MD PhD specific essay, um, how different in tone and writing style is it supposed to be from the personal statement? Mm. And also uh, in the personal statement, should you just address how your desire to pursue a career as a physician, a scientist informs your decision to um, become a doctor? Very good question. So MD PhD stuff uh, is not something I talk about a ton. Uh, but it's obviously a lot of people are applying MD-PhD for one reason or another, and uh, it's very important to discuss, right, th those nuances. A lot of people don't even know there's an, an MD-PhD essay added into the AMCAS application. It's a 10,000-character essay. It's a ginormous essay that yeah. <laughs> students have to write about. And so, so let's hit the normal, quote-unquote, normal... Uh, personal statement for an MD PhD application. So, so just kind of basics for the student listening to this, watching this, who doesn't know. So, when you are doing your AMCAS application and you select that you are applying MD PhD, really everything is exactly the same. the The biggest difference is that additional essay for the the PhD application. Outside of that, the personal statement in my mind is exactly the same as you would if you were quote unquote just applying to MD programs. So the personal statement at the end of the day is why are you pursuing medicine? Now, a lot of students love to write about the science aspect of things, right? The, I love science and I wanna help people. I try to just completely avoid that even for MD, PhD applicants, right? You have a whole essay to talk about uh, science and research and all of that fun mm -hmm. stuff. So personal statement wise, right? My my personal statement book, <laughs> the pre-med playbook, Guide to the Medical School Personal Statement, still is the kind of guiding force behind writing your personal statement, whether it's MD or MD, PhD. The, <clears throat> the PhD essay, when you are writing that, in my mind, it's very similar in terms of tone, in terms of writing style, in terms of everything, right? At the end of the day, the goal of every essay that you're writing for your application, whether it's your primary personal statement, your primary MD, PhD essay, your secondary essays, every word that you write, every sentence that you write, every paragraph that you write, the goal of those is to get the reader to continue reading. And so when it comes to the MD PhD essay, I love stories, right? Tell me a story of you doing research. Don't just say, oh, I studied Pseudomonas aeruginosa, blah, 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 right? And I, I was able to use CRISPR to excise whatever, right? This just boring, generic, just factual stuff. Mm -hmm. Readers read that all the time. It's very boring right? Re research in general is very boring, right? Tell me, no. a, tell me a story. No, not for, not for people applying PhD. They're like, I love research, right? Yeah. Um, no, I, I get it. I get it. Um, <laughs> I was not a research person. Um, but at, at the end of the day, the more that you can show and not tell, the more that you can tell a story about your research, the more that you can focus on more of the attention grabbing, more of the sense engaging, right? Sense, I, when I say sense, I mean, right? Sight, smell, touch, feel, or uh, whatever, right? Uh, those, those things that we have, those senses. Um, the more that you can engage those, the more that you're engaging the reader, the more that they are interested, the more that they are continuing to read up to those 10,000 characters. And so I think 
you write in a very similar way to your personal statement for your uh, your PhD application. I've I've I haven't actually done a ton of PhD essay editing and and reviewing. I've the the few that I've done, the students have done amazingly well and getting into lots of MD PhD schools. Uh, so obviously the the schools liked my my uh, feedback for those essays. Um, will there be some schools that don't like it? Some schools don't like the way that that I tell students to write personal statements either, but. Uh, the majority of schools out there um, are they're, they're humans reading the essays. They're humans that are being engaged with that type of writing. So the more that you can tell stories around what you're doing, I think the better you will do. Okay. Well, that was a great answer. Thank you so much. Um, I feel like that clarified a lot. Good. Um, what you. other questions do you have? Um, uh, I think... Uh, I didn't think that far. You didn't think of that. So um, let me let me ask you a question for for the student watching this right now or listening mm -hmm. to this. They're like, "Ooh, like MD PhD, maybe I should do MD PhD. I want to do research when I'm a doctor." What is your motivation behind applying MD PhD versus just MD or DO and doing research as quote unquote just an MD? Mhm. Mm well, for me, I've done research for so long. I I spent three years in a bioinorganic lab, and after that, I was, I mean, at the same time, I was doing caregiving, and I just found while I was in caregiving or as a medical assistant that I really loved treating the patients, but I also really wanted to uh, learn more about their diseases and go deeper into that in a way that I didn't feel an MD only would prepare me for, so I just wanted the specialized skills yeah. um, that a PhD can provide if you get something very narrow and I'm interested in glycobiology and you can't just enter glycobiology. Yeah, that, <laughs> that was the next question is, do you have a particular research subject that is just you're drawn yeah. to? So glycobiology, explain that. So glycobiology, essentially in all cells, uh, you have this glycol, oh, I'm not even saying that right, um, but it's just carbohydrates on the outside and they can govern a lot of processes from yep. Uh, tumor aggressiveness to a bunch of different things and even like um, reproductive systems they're finding importance in that too yeah so it's just a really growing field and there's a lot of interesting research in my opinion uh, in it and um, that's why I kind of interested in that and also interested in bioinformatics because I worked in a cancer genetics lab for a while and I felt like I couldn't do anything because I didn't have bioinformatics background yeah. So, so bioinformatics for a student listening to this, you, you keep bringing up these big words that a lot of students are like, I don't know what these are. No, it's good. I like it because we can add to the discussion and, and help more students. So bioinformatics, what in a general sense, what is your take on what that is? Uh, for what I was doing, um, so if you have any genomic sort of analyses, oftentimes for cancer right now, people will send off samples of like their blood, spit, something like that to get um, analyzed mm -hmm. to see if they have any genes or anything that's altered that might impact their diagnosis or their treatment. And um, the, in, the bioinformatics part comes into when they get all that information from the DNA and they have to integrate it into stuff that the clinicians can use. So they have to align the DNA sequences to a, a reference and all those different things and it requires a set of uh, computational skills and kind of computer science skills that um, merges biology and kind of informatics and data yeah. science. Yeah, big data. That's that's yeah. what it comes yeah. down to is the big it's data a world. Field and it's kind of, I've seen a lot of doctors who can't really get into it because they just don't have the training. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, awesome. It sounds like you have a good idea of what you want to do and where you want to go and, and how you are getting there. So I wish you the best of luck if there's Anything else? Any other questions you have? I'm, I'm here. Uh, but if that's it, thank you so much for being here. I think that was it for now. I should have uh, processed a little further to see if there's any other ones. But I deeply appreciate uh, your help with the MD PhD specific essay. I definitely was not sure how to even kind of approach it and definitely clarified a lot. Good. Well, I'm glad. Good luck to you and uh, keep, keep you. us updated on your progress. Thank you.